Hello and welcome to WePC Benchmarks. Today we're looking at the best settings for the new AMD Ryzen 5 5600G. We're looking at how best to extract the most performance out of the APU. The first thing you want to do is enable resizable bar support. This usually wields a couple of FPS and to enable it there's two ways, depending on your motherboard manufacturer. But in our Asus BIOS, there is the option to enable it right here in the Easy BIOS up top. All you have to do is press the button and then you can save and exit, simple as that. However, if you don't have the option here, you need to go into advanced mode, usually with F7 or by clicking this button here. Then you need to go into advanced tab, enter PCI subsystem or something similar, then enable above 4G decoding, and then resizable bar support should appear. And then you can just leave it on auto. Then you also have to turn off CSM, which can be found under the boot options. In the CSM tab, disable it and then save and exit. Another thing you can do is check in how much VRAM you have allocated in the APU. Since the graphics are on board, there is limited space for VRAM on the CPU, so it uses system RAM to increase that amount. It's usually on auto, but can cause issues with some games. So to check this, go to the Advanced tab in the Advanced BIOS, and head to NB Configuration. There you can find the UMA frame buffer size. It should be on auto, but can be adjusted manually and can be increased to as much as it allows, but don't exceed half of your system memory as you still need it for everything else. This should be able to resolve some conflicts in games that say you don't have enough VRAM, but most of the time auto should be fine. Next in your OS, head to your browser and search for AMD Radeon software. In the list, find processors with graphics and the 5600G on the list and download either the recommended driver or optional one. The latest driver ensures the APU is working at its best. With the software downloaded and installed, head to the gear in the top right corner and over to the graphics tab. There, pick the gaming preset, which enables anti-lag and image sharpening, not something that will increase FPS directly, but can help the feel of the games. The last thing is working with your game's options and optimizing it for the best. We especially want to use FSR, as it enables the game to render at a lower resolution, but display at native, so getting a nice performance increase. Here we choose the balance option to near double our FPS, whilst keeping the quality close to normal. That's all from this video, hopefully this helps with gaming on an APU. It's not the worst thing, and many games can run well on it, and might be easier and cheaper to come by than GPUs at the moment. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.